Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? So today is another lunch or dinner idea for you and it is again a stuffed jacket potato but just something else and it's a bit like um, a shepherd's pie, cottage pie depending on what you use. I've used leftover bolognese sauce, you can use whatever you want and this is what this is great about this recipe is it's about leftovers and using them. So at the end of this video I have shown you how I made my bolognese sauce um, but you can use literally any filling it's really just about the concept so if you do like it you need to make sure you subscribe so you get more ideas and it is just literally to give you some ideas to keep you on track so here's how I made the stuffed jacket potato but don't forget to stay to the end to find out what I used to make my filling okay all right excuse the uh, lawnmower in the background so I'm just going to get my potatoes and all I'm going to do is cut them in half and scoop out the, mi the meat, <laughs> the potato, as I've done with all my other stuffed potato recipes. Right, so I've got all my shells there, so I'm just going to pop those to one side for a minute get rid of those and then I've got all of my potato here just gonna break it all down okay and then I'm gonna add on top of that just a bit of grated cheese that for a second and then I'm going to get an egg and then all I'm going to do is just combine all that together I'm going to pop some pepper in that's done I'm just going to pop that to one side for now and then what I'm now going to do is top this with my mashed potato I just need to find some room on my counter Right, so they're all done. Now normally I'd put them in my dry fryer to cook just for speed if it's my lunch, but this is my evening meal. So I have got the luxury of putting these in the oven tonight. So I'm gonna pop them in the oven about 180 for about 25 minutes, but I'll keep an eye on them. And then I'm gonna serve them with a selection of vegetables and they are absolutely delicious. I can promise you, I'll show you them when they come out the oven all nice and brown. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is add some chilli oil to my pan for flavouring. Not chilli oil, this is fry light chilli. Which just adds a little bit of a kick, so that's lovely. 
And I'm going to pop my 5% beef mince in first and just cook that off. Just get, break it up and cook it down. Right, and now I'm just going to drain that to get all the excess fat out. It's still less than 5% fat mint, but I just want to make sure there is literally no excess fat left in there by draining it. And if I just show you in a second, I'm going to finish, there we go, put that back in. I'll show you, look how much. So that's coming out and going in the bin. And that'll actually stop me adding a few extra calories on. The green in there with a bit of cauliflower that I'd also sieved in the uh, same sieve. So it's not going to hurt me. A little extra greenery in there. So then I'm going to start building up my flavours for this. So I'm going to add in a crumpled stock cube into there. And then I'm going to add some of my lazy garlic, but because my jar is almost empty, I'll actually put water in there to get all the garlic out, so it's not to waste it, but also um, I wanted some liquid anyway. So I've just killed two birds with one stone. Let's put the rest of that garlic out. Perfect. And then I'm going to put some tomato puree in. Tablespoon. Just give that a quick stir. Lovely. Then I'm going to put some hot chili powder in. Oops, I did too much. Not overpowering and some mixed herbs and then I'll start adding my veg into this now really fill it out right, so I've got some onions I've got mushrooms peppers chopped cherry tomatoes and chopped carrot as well now the carrot is actually left over from last night's dinner and um, it's cooked already oh it's my phone <laughs> just turn itself back on and um, it was already cooked already and it's left over so it's going in and i think it'll get wasted in our house and it'll add a nice sweetness to the dish as well also books out with your five a day. Give that a good stir. And I'm just going to pop the lid on and then I'm just going to leave that to cook so the vegetables soften. And then I'll finish it off with a little bit of Worcester sauce and that will be almost ready to go with the pasta. Right, so now I'm just going to add some Worcester sauce. and some black pepper And there we 
have a perfect meat dish to go with pasta or put jacket potato with it or put mashed potato on top whatever you want but that is really quick and easy and tasty so what do you think it wasn't difficult was it but it's just something really really quick and easy you can just throw together from leftovers the jacket potatoes as you know i bulk bake those so I've always got them in the fridge they go to if i don't have much jacket potatoes i stick them into my dry fryer for wedges and things like that so they never go to waste all right guys if you enjoyed that don't forget to subscribe click notifications and give me a thumbs up i'll see you later take care bye